Hello, this is Andy Daniel, and we are here at the Gwinnett International Film Festival. And this is a very good friend of mine. I'm so excited he's interviewing tonight with me. This is? Hi, I'm Ken Feinberg from Creative Studios of Atlanta. And he has, he has many, many films, apparently, in the film festival, right? That is correct. I have about 75 films in this film festival. 70. Let me, let me explain. Yes, please. Okay, we, we have a feature film called Santa's Boot Camp. Okay. We have... Wait, when is that screening? Santa's Boot Camp is screening Sunday at 5 p.m. It's the closing night film of the whole festival. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Sunday at 5. You better be there. That's right. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. is Slices of Life, which is 33 short films in one wow. two-hour block. Now, is this from your academy? This is from, this is from the CSA Film Academy. This is our spring movie. Okay. It has kids, it has teens, it has adults. It's okay. 33 original short films and just shot uh, in April of this year. So they're brand new shorts. Now, what kind of content are we looking at for those 33 films? Comedy and drama, primarily. Um, we, have, uh, we have a block that's more family friendly. Okay. And then we have a block that's more mature. So dealing with suicide, dealing with death, dealing with parental, teenager, That's drinking, great. dealing with all kinds of divorce, all kinds of different subjects. It's called Slices of Life because it's about real things and it's written primarily by the students and things that they actually experienced. What are the ages of your students? My, this year, my youngest was about eight and my oldest was in her 70s. Did you hear that? From eight to 70s. I want to be that 70-year-old kid still writing films. <laughs> Absolutely. Anything you want to add? Yes. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon from 3 to 5, they're doing a retrospective of my work. So I'm, I'm screening 10 films of, we shot over the last 10 years. Okay. And many of them won awards. Some of them premiered in Cannes. So it's a retrospective of my work as a director um, here, at the, here at the Gwinnett International Film Festival. And then Sunday, uh, they're screening a film called Unnecessary Meanness, which is an anti-bullying movie that has 22 shorts in it. Good. <laughs> and then before that, we have about 30 minutes of other shorts that we've done in our summer acting program. So he really has 75 films? Approximately. Approximately 75 films. Count, but it's approximately 75 films. The Sunday morning uh, program is specifically for kids. It's okay. kid-friendly. Sunday morning? Sunday morning, yeah. Okay. Um, Kevin asked me, if I had any programs that would be for kids and teens, I, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got more we hadn't even shown yet. Oh, good. So, so, so yeah. it's kind of the premiere for those. It's the premiere for those. Good. So, yeah, we're, it's an exciting weekend. All right. Well, we're so excited. So there's plenty to choose from. That's just this director, producer, writer, blah, 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 on and on and on. I could go on and on about this man. Well, He's so, so awesome. One last thing. Okay, okay, one more thing. I want to talk about the feature film Santa's Boot Camp. Oh, yes. I definitely want to hear this. This is the one that's Sunday. This is our closing film. The closing night film of the festival, Santa's Boot Camp, is a Christmas movie. And imagine the Breakfast Club goes to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory at Christmas time. <laughs> it's about how kids are so self-centered and so bratty, Santa's elves go on strike, and Santa's got to bring in six unscrupulous teenagers to help save Christmas. And they're all self-centered in their own right, and they all oh, have to yeah. learn some lessons. And it's a really fun little film, and it stars... 70-plus uh, local actors, wow. local crew, and Eric Roberts. And Doug K plays Santa Claus. And you directed. And I directed. Okay, and you produced. I produced, and I was one of the writers. Oh, okay. How many writers were on that? Three writers. Myself, Kelly Nettles, and Mimi Fontaine. Oh, yeah, okay. I know them, yeah. I'm excited. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make it to that. Did you want to add anything else? That's it. Thanks for, thanks for listening, and thanks for how long to be a part of this wonderful festival. And so we're going to see you around all weekend, right? You'll see me all around. Just look for the man with the head. Okay. Well, this is awesome. We hope you go and see, especially Santa's Boot Camp. That's the one I want to see. But at least jump in those premieres and see some of these. Again, thank you so much, and we will see you around. Thank thanks. you. <laughs> Hello, this is Andy Daniel coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. And we have a very special person here. This is he. This is almighty Kevin. Kevin. So Kevin, yes. tell us about your film festival. 
Well, it's not really my film festival. I had a lot of people who uh, did who this helped. film. Uh, but I am glad to say that this film festival is mainly for Georgia filmmakers to actually network and meet each other. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something I always wanted to do is get a lot of Georgia filmmakers together to do something like this. And this is my way of giving back to the community. And, you know, I had a lot of help from the people here uh, at the Gwinnett Center, too. So. We appreciate that. And as a filmmaker myself, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've already interviewed a couple of people and we are very okay. appreciative of that. And one of them was Ken with his 70 movies. Yes. That's <laughs> quite incredible. I'm glad he's doing some of the content that he's doing. So tell me a little, about, a little bit about the schedule and like what's gonna happen this weekend. Give me one second. He's being paged already. We can't I'm even have him for off. five minutes. Five, off. only five. I just want five minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have a lot of different films here this year. We have some that are local, but we also focus on uh, a lot of Indian films this year, and we have a lot of films that are from um, all over. Uh, we, we, have, we have one from Iran, we wow. have uh, several from India, we have one for Korea this year, which we didn't have last year. Uh, so a couple of them are you know, kind of generally all over from Europe, so we're, we're, we have a lot of different films this year, which is really good, because I want to bring a lot of different types of films from all over the world to Georgia filmmakers, so they can see what's, what else is out there. Right. Well, tell us about the opening film. Oh, the opening film. Uh, the opening film is The Cure, which is uh, directed by Kenneth Bradley and uh, produced, well, directed by Justin Pogue and uh, produced by Kenneth Bradley and Justin Pogue. And these guys have done an excellent job at creating a very fast-paced and uh, exciting action film. Um, oh, well, let me also add that the uh, film was also p produced by Ted Rubin and Mila Rain. Uh, uh, who had a huge hand in uh, getting this film made. I don't think it could have been possible without these, these uh, very talented individuals who put together a lot of resources to create a very hyperactive action film that's very much like the Born Identity films. So anyone who sees it tonight will be very excited. So is this one of those don't leave your seat, you might miss something films? Ah, uh, most definitely. It is extremely suspenseful and fast paced. And if you do leave your seat, you're going to miss something. <laughs> okay, so note to whoever is coming to the screening tonight, go to the bathroom before you go in, okay? Get your popcorn, go to the bathroom before you go in the theater. Yes. So tell us anything else really exciting. I know you got a lot planned this weekend. We have some exciting retrospectives this year. Uh, one is by uh, Ken uh, Feinberg, who is with Creative Studios of Atlanta. We are actually doing a lot of his films because he's uh, primarily... Uh, a filmmaker who does films for children and uh, family films, mm -hmm. which is something that we are opening up to this year for the first time. So he's going to bring us a lot of different films that we have never would have had the opportunity to do this year. And part of his um, retrospective will be some of his films for all ages, like his older films his, uh, for older um, adults, and mm -hmm. some are for kids, and a little variety of everything. Um, we're also doing his world premiere of his film Santa's Boot Camp, which stars mm -hmm. Eric Roberts. So that'll be exciting, and that's a very good family-friendly film. That's your closing film, right? That is our closing film. We are going to close with a uh, children's film and open with an action film. <laughs> well, that's good because he did. we actually interviewed him. Uh, that He was the first interview tonight, and he told us a little bit about it he, and some of his other films. We're, I'm really excited to know that there's some, there's some content in here that could be a little questionable, but that's good because it's stuff that needs to get out there, like the anti-bullying uh -huh. and uh, some of the others. So we're, I, I know personally I'm excited about that. I'm going to oh, yeah. try to make as many of the screenings as I can. <laughs> so what else is going on? I know you got some workshops. Yes, we have a lot of workshops this year. Like last year, we had several workshops, but this year we have even more. Some are on makeup. Some are on uh, social networking for filmmakers and how to get their film out there uh, to, the, to the world. Uh, we have, what, some standard makeup issues and then a couple on props. So I mm -hmm. think we have a wide variety of workshops this year. And wardrobing for zombies. It, it is Georgia. So, you know, the Walking Dead shot here and several other oh, wow. many, many, I think this is the home of the zombie actually right now. Zombies and vampires. So yes, and good. vampires. Vampires are quite <laughs> popular right now too. I'm working on a vampire movie myself. But so tell me anything else you want to add about this weekend, about the schedule? Well, I will say um, we have a huge variety of films, but not just that. We have a lot of panel discussions, too, mm -hmm. in addition to the workshops and everything else that's going on. The panel discussions were very popular last year, and mm -hmm. so we brought back a whole different array of topics for panel discussions this year that I'm really excited about. 
Well, let me ask you for future filmmakers or for filmmakers about next year, how could they submit their projects for next year's film festival? Well, um, the first thing I can say is... Uh, just let's get through this weekend. <laughs> let's get through this weekend, yes, most definitely. Uh, and then just make sure that you uh, keep up to date on our website because we, we will put a post on there okay. for when we open for submissions. And we open up some f submissions for a good eight months before oh, any deadlines. Wow. So it's not like you, have a, you don't have a long time to send us your films. You have a very long time to get, send us your films. And, you know, if your film is really good, we'll, we'll take it. And so they can find any of the rules, regulations, address, like all the information on that website? Yes, everything is on our website, www.gcifilmfest.com. Okay. Um, that's it for now because we're going to catch him later this weekend and we'll see how tired he looks. But for now, he's fresh and new and handsome in his tie. So we're going to let him go because I know his radio is buzzing again. Or is that just something else? I don't know. So I know you got to go and we're getting the cut signal. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> thank you. We have a, quite a treat. We now get to interview one of our sponsors, very important man. What's your name, sir? Kenneth T. Brandstetter. Who are you from? Uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I've actually, this is my second year sponsoring it. Oh, now what company are you with? Uh, I own KTV Construction out of Chattanooga. Okay, now tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, my company is more or less uh, residential and uh, commercial, and we do high-rises and shopping centers. But you're Atlanta-based? No, I'm actually Chattanooga-based. Okay. And um, I've done actually work here on the Gwinnett Center before. And um, at the time, they invited me to be a sponsor for the film festival. And I enjoyed it the first year I was here, so I'm back again this year. Which was last year, right? Yeah, that's was correct. your first year sponsoring? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what made you want to sponsor the film festival versus something else? Well, some of the newer films that are coming up, um, you know, getting other talent in. And I saw a bunch of them last year, and I enjoyed it, so I thought I'd do it again this year. Well, have you ever thought about doing acting or extra work in any nope. of these films? No. What? Construction keeps me tied up pretty good. <laughs> oh, why not? No. I, well, let's leave it to the professionals, and I'll stick to the professional of construction. Uh, now, are you going to be around all weekend? No, I'm actually only down here for the night, um, and then I'm going to stay for a couple of films that, that I wanted to see. And, uh, and then the rest of the weekend, I've got some people that are coming down here to watch it. Okay, well, we sure appreciate you taking the time to interview sure. with us, and we definitely want you to have some of this good food here. Uh, I've actually been getting a bunch of it already. Good. It's a very good feel. Good, and he has the most pretty eyes. Did you, can you see his eyes? They're pretty, gorgeous eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy yourself this weekend. Right. Andy Daniel, coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We have some pretty cool guys here that I have the honor that's, that's I get to guy. interview. Uh, we got to tip you later. For that. <laughs> so tell me your name. I'm BK Jackson. And? George Taylor the third. The third, that's important. Yes. Otherwise now, known as GT3. Yes. GT3. G, I can't talk. GT3 is yes, the cool name, right? Yes, ma'am. What's is that? Does that mean anything? George Felton Taylor the third. Oh, oh, there you go. Yes, See, no, got it. We we had to condense it down. Yeah. For the public. You, know? you got to do the cool name. Yeah, we do. Yeah. He, he made he made me do it. You know, that guy <laughs> so what's your condensed name? Uh, BK Jackson. D <laughs> BK Jackson. I just call him Boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a good smile. So you guys tell me, what are you doing here at the we're Gwinnett really Film excited. Festival? We're really excited. Um, we're premiering uh, GT3's music video called Get Fresh. Uh, we produced it last year and uh, been really busy with his album. Um, wow. And so now we had a chance to kind of do some artsy stuff. And so I didn't even tell him about it. I just said, he's kind of <laughs> modest. So I you said, mean you didn't tell him about the film? No, the, the, I just put it in wow. the film festival. And then when it got in, I called him and said, hey, man. Why don't you Got a reception. Come, come on thing. out. Say, why, come on down. Why don't you come on out to this thing? It's at Gwinnett, Gwinnett Civic Center, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you should be able to drive in and find everything. Yeah. I've walked around this campus, BK, and it's <laughs> lovely. Let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you. But pr premiering the Get Fresh video, been pushing the album as hard as we can for Good. the past year and a half, and really looking forward to seeing what y'all think about it. Oh, I don't know. 
don't know what that music is coming from, but it's really loud. Well, we're... Is, no. is it? That's not, I, uh, that's not his video. video. No. That's... that's probably not even close to his video. Well, tell me, when is it premiering? It is premiering Sunday on at Sunday. Noon. Sunday at noon. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday at noon? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Do you know Anybody? which bar, which room is it? Um, I'm not quite sure what screen okay. room. However, if you want to show up a day early, I'm also, along with myself and uh, one of my friends, Michael Robertson, who is an accomplished uh, music video director, both of us music video directors, we're going to be in the panel here uh, on Saturday at noon as well. Which panel is that? The music video behind the scenes panel. Okay. Are you going to be in that? No, ma'am, I'm not. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to come out and spend the evening with BK, and he even left a credential for me. Ooh, so and nice. it's a sponsor credential. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate it. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Can, can you give away anything? You know what? What? Hip-hop needs a resurrection needs to know that you can be cool without sacrificing yourself. Mm -hmm. What would you do if your grandma had to hear you single? You know? <laughs> this is this is what Get Fresh is in every way, okay. shape, fashion, and form. We so wait, wait, would you say it's a clean video? I'd say it's a fresh video. I, think that's I like that. Right. Yeah, I like that. Good. And you said it's uh, anything else you want to add about that? I love doing it. I live, breathe, and sleep hip-hop. And I hope you all enjoy it too. I don't know which camera to look at, so I'm gonna just. This do is it. our one. Just I'm look just at them all. Pan. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, same thing. Blessed as I can be to be working with BK and Mike Robinson on my project, mm -hmm. and uh, same thing. Good tunes, good vibes. Your soul will feel good after you got done listening to it. And if your eight-year-olds in the car, they can rock out with you. So which really that's be. rare with yeah. with uh, some things nowadays. Yes, ma'am. So tell me about your next project. You know what? The next project is yet to really be determined. Mm -hmm. I, I've got a rather extensive catalog that's done. We've got things off being mastered right now. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're going to wait and see. We've got the pick of a crop. And, again, I've got a killer team behind me. And we're looking forward to the push. GT3, get fresh. All right. Well, thank you so much. Do you want to give a holler out for your website? Check out the website. I didn't mean to French kiss. That's okay. I don't know what to That's do with okay. my hands. We can, we can clean it. Okay. <laughs> if you get an opportunity, check out the gt3music.com site. Other than that, stay fresh, be fresh. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much, you guys. You. We look forward to seeing that video. Yes, ma'am. All right. Have, have a good a good night. one. Bye. Hi there, this is Andy Daniel coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We have two beautiful ladies here we're going to interview. So tell me your name. Erica Page. Cassandra Page. And they're sisters. Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? They're both pretty. So tell me why you're here. Um, I'm here tonight. I actually am one of the actresses in the film The Cure that's going to be airing. So okay. I'm here for that. It's my first time actually seeing it, so I'm really excited oh, for that. I Mm -mm. I've seen like clips of it, but I haven't seen the whole thing, oh, so I'm excited. We can't like have a camera on you when you're in. <laughs> in, in it, yeah, oh, that's me. Oh, oh, we didn't cut that part out. Oh. <laughs> so why are you here? Support. Aw, so she's supporting her sister. That's awesome. I need more sisters like that. <laughs> so tell me about the film. Um, the care. It's or your character, whichever. Um, I play the girlfriend of the lead character. Um. I don't want to give away too much, but basically, uh, before he tells me he has to go away, and before he tells me that, I'm about to tell him some very, very important news, but the, um, the information that he tells me is way more important, so I hold off on telling him, and it's a pretty big deal, okay. and he kind of, he kind of, he comes back later, and you'll find out what it is, but it's kind of a big deal, and it's, it's kind of sad, but you'll have to see. I don't want to say too much with it. I feel like I'm going to give it away. <laughs> yeah, please don't give it away. So tell us, how did you? How long have you been into acting? Um, I started about four years ago. I got more serious and busier. I guess the past like two years or so. But it's my passion. It's what I love. It's one of those things that I always wanted to try it. And one day I was like, you know what? I got laid off from my day job. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this now. And I tried, and I never looked back. And isn't it funny that sometimes in acting, that's what it takes. Yeah. To lose your real, real yeah, job, the real do, job, exactly. like acting's not a real job. Yeah. So, are you Atlanta-based? Yeah. Atlanta, yes. Okay. Born and raised. Oh, oh, a true Southern belle. Woo, Georgia Peach. So, tell us about your other projects. Um, 
Well, I just shot a pilot um, called The Bruce Bruce Show. It's starring Bruce Bruce, a comedian, Terry Vaughn's in it, um, Carl Payne, the Braxton sisters, a lot of good people involved. Of course, it's a pilot, so you never know what's going to happen, but I feel really, really good about it. So we'll see what happens. Other than that, um, another film, what else? I just filmed not too long ago called Mr. Right, uh, starring Columbus Short. He's one of the actors from Scandal. I got to work with him, which was really, really cool. I'm not sure when it's going to be out, but we just filmed. We got we wrapped um, two months ago, so that should be coming out pretty soon. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Well, you are both beautiful ladies, and we really thank you for interviewing with us. Anything you want to add? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just I'm really glad that the community acting community here in Georgia is growing because there's so much talent and there's so many people here and I'm glad that it's finally being recognized, so that's really nice. A amen to that. We, we are all thankful. As a filmmaker myself, I love it. And we have lots of good talent here, including her. Um, so thank you so much again, and, good and congratulations on the film. And thank you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. Hi there, this is Andy Daniel coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We're here with a very distinguished, handsome gentleman. And what's your name? My name is Daniel Espute. I'm a local filmmaker and actually had my film have its world premiere here last year. What film was that? The film is called Grease Paint, and of course I'm not uh, shy of self-promotion here. This uh, world premiere here and won an Audience Choice Award for Best Feature Film right here. See? Oh. Even got it right there. Congratulations. Thank you so, much. so tell us about your film. Well, it's a documentary about circus clowns. It, uh, it actually has, it's still on the festival circuit actually okay. right now. And uh, it actually just got picked up by Cinema Libre Studio in Hollywood, California. Oh, wow. And it's been on DVD for a month. And actually, today, it's available on VOD. So promote it. Oh, of course. Grease Paint, the uh, first ever documentary of its kind about American circus clowning, one of the oldest art forms in the world. There's always been the court jester, the town fool. This is something that is going to reverse the, all the negative stereotypes that, unfortunately, Hollywood has put out there for clowns. And it's available now on DVD and also on video on demand. So what made you want to make a film about clowns? Where, did you have that fear when you were younger of clowns? You know, some people have a fear of clowns. Yeah, that's true. You know, I didn't really have that fear. I didn't really have an opinion, but I did have a really good friend who was passionate about it as much as I'm passionate about entertaining because I'm also a local disc jockey around here, wow. too. And Multi-talented. Uh, well, you know. We, I do what I can, um, but of course, me and my wife, uh, we've been married for a year and a half now. We combine both our businesses. We provide film we provide photography, and we provide event entertainment. And I actually wow. just came from a job. We set up a Dancing with the Stars type of production, and I literally had my coveralls on just, you know, 15 minutes ago. I Luckily, I don't live that far away. I threw on, you know, my best suit, because only the best suit for the best film festival, in my opinion, oh, right nice. here. And uh, I actually uh, am a judge this year. Ah. So I got to see and sample some of the great films, okay. and I'm just so excited to see what, uh, what else is out there. And you clean up very well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Well, thank you so much. We don't want to take too much time because we know the film is, the main film is about to start, and we don't want to take away from that. So thank you so much, and we look forward to maybe talking to you later this week. And you get to be around all weekend? Absolutely. We've got our own booth. It's going to be open tomorrow. We're going to be selling DVDs of Grease Paint. I'll be uh, available on Sunday to not only sign them, but I'm also going to be doing two of the panels on Sunday. And you can check your program to find out where I'm at. Daniel Espute, E-S-P-E-U-T. Just think about dispute but you got to add the S in the front of it. That's how it works. Dispute with an E. Remember yes. that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We are interviewing. We've interviewed this handsome man already, but now we get to interview this pretty lady. So tell us your name. Well, my name's Caitlin Cavanaugh. Caitlin, so tell me, what are you doing here today? Do you have a film here? Do you have a project here? What, what's going on? I'm actually accompanying this lovely gentleman, Ken Feinberg, who I've known since I was about that big. Oh. Yes. Okay. And I grew up with him, and he is fantastic. Ah. He taught me basically everything I know. And wow. He's wonderful. Are you in one of the films? Are you a producer? Are you director? Or Not you, one of what the do you films do? that are is premiering this weekend, but I've been in a couple of his films previous. Okay. So, do you are you at the academy as well? Do you do the academy with him? Um, I did it for a long time, and then I actually used to help out as a camp counselor for okay. a little while, 
and I'm not there currently, but I'm coming back. Ah. In school. Caitlin, Caitlin was in our original CSA Film Academy class, and she, and she wow. was in Crow Company for a while. And then she went off to college, and now she's coming back, and she's going to continue training and working. She's a brilliant actress. That I actually have worked with her before. Yes. Um, we she work was on, a, on a film. Lost in the Woods. Yes, um, we both play characters in a series called Lost in the Woods. And what's your character in that? I am. My character's name is Laurie, and I play an evil murderer, which is tons of fun. Slightly out of character for me, but definitely <laughs> a good stretch. I don't know. I saw you on set. It, you did a pretty darn good job. <laughs> Of course, you had some awesome makeup, shall oh, I say. Definitely. You know, there was this really beautiful woman who spray painted me white and did all of my makeup. You know, I, I can't think of her name. It might be Andi, I'm not sure. That was quite experience. We were outside spraying her entirely white. She was an alien. Oh, yeah. She's that an alien. That's a fun. Can we not talk about the bug bites? Because that happened. Oh, yeah, that we won't talk about the bug bites. Of course, it is called Lost in the Woods. True. True. I didn't want to be lost with the bugs, though. <laughs> could, we, could we lose the bugs and just keep the woods? Well, tell me what's going on with this series now. Um, right now, I think we just wrapped up season two, and we're going to start on season three soon. Okay. Um, season two has completely all aired, and we start filming, I want to say, this summer. Ah, oh, that's great. And then I'm working on another project with Matt Nielsen, who's also closely related to Ken. He yes. does a lot of cinematography work at CSA. Okay. He's kicking off a feature film that I may or may not be involved with. We haven't really decided yet, but oh, we're okay. working on it. Is that a not allowed to talk about it yet not, project? Not without his permission. I wouldn't want him to kill Matt me. Matt will be here Darn. on Sunday. You can ask him. Yeah. Matt a what? Matt will be here on Sunday. You can ask him oh, yourself. Really? That's fantastic. Well, yeah, well. Matt is... Matt is doing press for me on Sunday. He's coming with camera and we have a, an interview where we have press coming to do interviews for Santa's Boot Camp. Uh, now what time is Santa's Boot Camp again? Santa's, Goot, Santa's Boot <laughs> Easy Camp. Easy for you to say. Yeah. Santa's Boot Camp <laughs> screens at 5. Okay. And he'll be here ready, to, ready for red carpet stuff around 4. For okay. A lot of actors will be coming in. Okay. And I just want to say if the bugs got you, wouldn't that be more like found in the woods than lost <laughs> in the woods? Or bit in the woods? No, that sounds vampirish though. No, yeah. Yeah. That. So what, any other projects you want to let us know about? Um, not at the moment. You know, I'm really just focusing on my collegiate career and really trying to get back into his classes, ah. you know, honestly. What year are you in in college? I'm a junior in college this okay. year, and I'm working mostly theatrical with a small little bit in film. So mm -hmm. well, That's great to hear. Did you want to add something? Well, she's probably in that upcoming Feinberg film that hasn't been announced yet. Oh, really? Is that another do not talk about project? Well, we could talk about it, but you'd have to sign the non-disclosures. I'll have my people call your people. <laughs> have your people call her people. And then they'll call me, and I'll tell them. How about that's that? right. That's Sounds right. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Well, get clearance from Lionsgate. You know how they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, that old thing, Lionsgate. All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for coming to our red carpet. And have fun this weekend. I'm going to give you a hug. Okay. We can do it. All right. Thank you so much. Hello, this is Andy Daniel coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We have some awesome people here t tonight. I can hardly wait till you hear about what they're doing here. So what's your name? Stacy Goldberg. And? Ari Goldberg. They're married. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. So tell us a little bit why you're here. Uh, so we're here, we're here uh, representing the Make a Film Foundation, and our film is The Magic Bracelet. And uh, we are thrilled to be here at the uh, Gwinnett Center International Film Festival. Um, and my wife will talk a little bit more about the foundation. <laughs> um, thought you were going to get away with no talking, She's weren't got you? Mm -hmm. so we're here, we're I can talk about the movie. It's a great foundation. foundation. We're here with Make a Film Foundation. Make a Film Foundation is a foundation that pairs Hollywood directors, actors, producers, um, and writers with um, young filmmakers who have life-threatening or chronic illnesses so they could write their short film legacies. Um, so our, uh, the film, The Magic Bracelet, um, is, our daughter, is our daughter Rena's film. Um, Rena passed away um, three years ago from mitochondrial disease. Um, and um, before she passed away, she wrote The Magic Bracelet. And it was her dream to see her film in Hollywood and her mantra was love life, dream big and be positive. And the dream big piece was that she knew that it was going to be in Hollywood. And um, 
despite the fact that lots of adults told her it wasn't going to be in Hollywood, she wanted to be in Hollywood. Um, what she wanted to do was raise awareness about mitochondrial disease in a big positive way, and she knew it was going to happen. Um, before she passed away, she was on hospice, and before she passed away, um, her final wish and her fi some final words to me were um, to take care, to promise to take care of her film. So we are not here for us. We're here um, with Rena's spirit and here um, with um, Make a Film, you know, Make a Film Foundation, so that um, more people can learn about it and learn about what Rena's message and what Make Film Foundation. It's such a great cause. And now, when is the film? Um, the film is um, tomorrow night, Saturday at 6 p.m. in an encore presentation at um, 11 a.m. And I also just want to say a little bit the. Um, an incredible group of people came together, giving freely of their time to do this. Um, Diablo Cody, who um, won for Juno, adapted the script. John Paul um, is the director, and it stars Bailey Madison, Haley Steinfeld, um, J.K. Simmons, James Vanderbeek, and Jackson Rathbone. Lots of amazing people have put their time into this. And we have two amazing people, and we just want to thank you guys for even getting this film in, for submitting it. We. I can hardly wait to see it personally. And thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> come on. Daniel, coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We have two great gentlemen here. And they actually have a film this weekend playing here. What film you got? We have Zombie Crush. What's that about? It is a teenage zombie. Okay, and what is your name? My name is Lewayne Bontrager. I'm Tendall Mann. Are you guys related at all? No, no. Okay, I have to ask We're, that. We just work together. So are you a zombie in the film? No, I'm actually one of the few alive people. Oh, you're one of the survivors? Yeah. Or not? Yeah. We don't know how it ends, so we haven't seen the movie yet. That's don't true. give it away. So tell us a little bit about the history of the film. Uh, well, it's actually the project was developed all around uh, for Tendall. Um, uh, we had, I had met with his mother, and we had talked about wanting to make a film with him. And uh, I had written a script that had to do with zombies as adults, mm -hmm. but I just redesigned it as an all-kids cast zombie yeah. movie. And so Tendall came on board, he directed, and he's our the lead character. So That's awesome. So is this your first film? It's my first time directing a film, but I've done a lot of acting. Okay. So in, how old are you? I'm 15. So in your long 15 years, you've done a lot of acting. What else have you done? Um, I've done a lot of independent films and shows and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. I'll Are you Atlanta-based? Yes. Yes, okay. Do you do anything? I mean, it sounds like you do a lot more than acting. Sometimes, yeah. I do uh, writing, um, filmmaking, just, yeah, all different things. Well, we got to keep in mind that he was 13 when he directed the movie, so it's pretty that's impressive. So young, that's it's incredible to me that these kids are doing these films, yeah. and they're amazing films, and half of them are shooting them now on their iPhones. Not that yeah. we promote that, but that, that's pretty amazing. Well, tell me, uh, what do you guys, so you guys are just here for that? Are you going to be here all weekend? Yeah. yeah, we're here to support that, and then we also have a, um, uh, a music video that um, we did, uh, I think, a couple years ago as well. So What's the we, name of it? That one is called Dark Comedy, and it's playing Sunday. So What time? Uh, don't know, actually. Maybe noon. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so what's the name of it again? Dark, Dark Comedy. Yeah. So look also for their music video. It's playing Sunday, um, as well as your film, which is playing Zombie Crush, which is playing... Uh, that's playing Saturday at 3, and uh, keep in mind it's a kid-friendly zombie movie. I think we're the world's first. I think so. Well, you know, in Georgia, we are the home of the zombie. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. lots of stuff shot the kids, here. The younger kids something. Uh, yeah, well, we don't want to take much of your time, but we really appreciate you doing an interview with us. Thank you, gentlemen. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we're out. Hello, this is Andy Daniel from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. We have two sweaty but yet very <laughs> talented people right here. What's your name? Brandon Chitwood. And Alicia Newcomb. Tell us why you're here. Uh, we're actually performing next week at the PAC, uh, Tap Aesthetic Live. Okay. It's like a new tap show that kind of combines like traditional tap with uh, more you know, up to date, our kind of style. We do anything from tapping on a car, actually comes out. Wow. Yeah, and then we uh, tap on some raised up platforms and kind of jump here and there, and we have a few more tricks up our sleeve. So oh. it. Uh, yeah, don't give it all yeah, away. Don't give it all away, but <laughs> you definitely will never see anybody tap on the stuff we do. So yeah, 
Now, are you here, is there a film or a project here with you guys, or you're just here for the performance? Yeah, just uh, basically for the performance since we're doing it next week. Um, but we do actually have a documentary that's kind of in the works. Uh, we're over the, kind of the course of showing how the show comes about and behind the scenes and things like that, kind of the, not so much drama, but, you know, what it takes really to... Not a reality show? <laughs> well, it might turn into that, but you never know. <laughs> Hope that's in a, in a good way. Of course, you know. No, we, we, we work pretty well together, you know, but we are like a family, so I'm not saying there's never like a little, a little, a little discussion over some things. Because it's not just us two, there's actually four other people in the cast, so... Yeah, okay. we just really like the little demos for today's, you know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so we're kind of a dysfunctional but good family sometimes, <laughs> you know. Okay, now how do you guys know each other? Uh, he was my teacher, I think, nine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and so ever since then I've been performing with him. Tap. So he taught you how to tap? Uh, yes. <laughs> and how long has it been since, uh, how long, like, when did you guys start? How long ago? Oh, well, I'm a little older. No, I, no, I started. Don't give away your age. Uh, We're just asking you when you started, not how long you've been doing it. Actually, I started in high school. Um, actually, because of soccer, we started taking some classes to increase our to foot speed. That, yeah. And then we kind of went from there. My sisters all grew up dancing, so I was around it, but never really like in the class. But, you know, I had a girl guy to ratio, so it wasn't a bad, a bad thing to join sometimes. So, you know. That's cool. How about you? Uh, how, did I, how long have you been tapping? Oh, I've been tapping for. Uh, 15, 16 years, somewhere around there, since I was little, six years old, I think. Well, you guys did an amazing job of what we could oh, see yeah. from down here. We were all like, we want to watch, we want to watch. But it was very good. Oh, thank you so much, much for coming tonight and coming to the Gwinnett International oh, Film Festival. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks. We're out. Hi there, this is Andi again. You're going to hear a lot from me this weekend. And I am here at the Gwinnett International Film Festival, and we are interviewing... A very handsome man. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, made him blush already. So, what is your name? My name is Mark Houston. It's my pleasure to be here. Ah, well, it's our pleasure that you are here. So, Mark, tell us a little about Mark. Um, I'm a 25-year veteran uh, production and direction in both live performance video and commercial editorial and advertising photography with my home base here now in Atlanta. Um, I spent years in New York City. Uh, you know, working with various photographers in production. And, you know, I've kind of, you know, broken all the big rocks and made them into small rocks in about 25 years, you know? Wow, that, yeah, that's a yeah. lot. Now, tell me what type, what's your favorite type of picture to shoot? Uh, my favorite type of photograph to shoot is, I like to call it, um, oh, urban. I'm like an urban walker. I like to go to different cities and just capture stuff. I'm more of, one of my big influences, Bruce Davison. Are you familiar with his work? I'm not. He did a lot of stuff in the 80s with, um, like, gangs Ooh. and people on the subways like really in New York urban. City. Yeah, and he's more of, like, I would say, like, a more of, like, an editorial art photographer. Ooh, and yeah. I'm, a, um, I'm a moment capturer. Okay. I'm not a big setup guy. I like to walk around, and I like to, if I see something, bang. Right. Somebody asked me one time, what does it take to be a good photographer? And the only thing I said to be a good photographer is to have a camera with you at all times. I, as a filmmaker myself, I agree with yeah, that, absolutely, especially absolutely. in your car, because you never know what's going to happen. You no, never you, know. You never know, because there's always a moment you might capture. Um, and I'll go through periods of different things that I like to do. I've done a lot of things with, like, um, long exposure light trails. Oh. Um, I've done lots of things with, like, um, reflection and not necessarily mirrored effect, but, like, maybe just glass. And you'll get, like, layers. You'll get layers oh, of effect. Oh, cool. Yeah, um... I'm not a real huge Photoshop guy. I do like to do uh, retouching with like luminance, mm -hmm. shadow. So what would be, as a photographer, what would be your favorite lens? <laughs> mm. I know it's a hard question. No, actually it's not that hard a question. Um, I've always said that it's never the camera. Mm -hmm. It's always the person behind the camera. Oh, yeah. You know, I could give my cat a $5,000 <laughs> camera and it'll look like she shot it. I can take a $100 Walmart camera and make some magic. But I'm sure your cat would would like the box better than the camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, but as far as lens go, mm -hmm. I would have to say maybe like, um, you know, I'm old school too. So digital, I'm, I still love digital because of the cost. But oh, yeah. maybe like a 105 or 110 portrait lens. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. 110, that, you know, that's really. old school. That's awesome. Do you shoot black and white? Love to shoot black and white. Love to shoot black and white. My, my all-time favorite medium is Polaroid, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so then you like, to, you like to do, I'm sure you've shot tons of film. Yeah. 
Yes. Like film, what's that? It's all digital now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, you shot black and white film, but what do you think? Okay, this is going to be your opinion on, you know, now you can shoot it in color, but make it black and white That's digitally. Correct. What do you think of that? I mean, it's awesome. Like I said, digital has opened up such a, you know, an avenue for everybody and to make it so cost effective for everybody, which is oh, yeah. incredible. And I think, you know, it, you know, like I said, I'm real fortunate. I was given my first camera by my grandmother when I was about six Aww. years old. Remember the old 110s? Yeah. Remember the old 110s? You had to film? do this, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was like a little Minolta pocket camera. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Just, you know, if I would uh, tell people, you know, some great things to teach their kids, it would be tell them how to shoot photography, tell them how to swim, tell them how to cook. And now um, kids as young as five have cameras on their phone. You know, and I was always a big snob about phone, you know, camera phones and this, that, and the other, because I was always like, well, answer your phone, don't shoot with it. <laughs> but there are, you know, there are some that. incredible things that you can do with it now. There okay, let me ask you then, yes. what kind of phone do you have? We're not, we're not promoting anyone, we're just asking. I have the, uh, the phone that's a derivative of the fruit that was featured in the <laughs> Garden of Eden. What fruit would that be? <laughs> we don't have to say it, we're not promoting here. <laughs> well, great. Well, I'm so glad to talk to you. You're fun. Pleasure. You're fun. It's it actually my pleasure. I'm here to support Atlanta filmmakers, local films, and you know anything groundbreaking. And Atlanta's come such a such a long way in the past 20 years. It's incredible. I'm so proud to be a resident. You know, I'm really so proud to be a resident and see all the great work that's coming into. You so know, you're going to be here all weekend. I will be, except for tomorrow night when I'm going to steal this camera guy over here and we're going to go uh, shoot Chris Bodie and Will Downing over at Chastain Park Amphitheater. Ah, uh, uh, ducking and, out to Chastain. Yeah, to come out and see live performance because it's really my specialty. It's what, I, it's what I really love to do. Unrehearsed. And that's, on that's an art within itself. I try my best. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for letting us interview you, you and for coming to the film festival. I look forward to it. And Thanks. that's Andy and Mark Houston. We're out. Take care. Uh, thank you. Second rule is, suck in. <laughs> Hello, this is Andy Daniel coming to you from the Gwinnett International Film Festival. I feel uh, kind of short standing here, and I have high heels on, and I still feel short. So we have two very distinguished gentlemen here from an amazing film that we're going to see later tonight. And what's your name? Gregory Keith Granger. Granger, Granger. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that voice, Granger, baby. And? Anthony O. Dalton II. And these are actors from this film, which is? The Cure. The Cure. The Cure. <laughs> Two times. Right. Yes. So tell us about the film. Well, it's an amazing. It's a thriller, and uh, you, you have to see it. I'm, I'm excited to see it. I haven't, the uh, directors and producers have kept it under wraps from us on purpose, I believe, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about seeing it. So none of the actors have seen it? Not that I know of, not to my knowledge, just unless I'm just out of the loop, but I doubt it. <laughs> wow, that's pretty exciting. We were saying earlier to the beautiful ladies that were here, we would like to put a camera in the audience. <laughs> So we might sneak one in there, lapel mic, or, okay. uh, yeah, and just see y'all's reactions to this film since you've never got to see it before. So are you excited? I'm very excited. This has been a film that's been like, I think, two years, two and a half years wow. in the making. Um, it started from something just as a small idea, and it just grew and grew and got more traction. And I'm, I'm excited. It's great cast, um, great energy working on it. Um, it's one of my one of my probably best projects wow. that I've worked on. Yeah. Now tell me about your character. I play but don't give away the movie. I'm not. <laughs> I play a character by the name of Xavier Brown. Um, he is a CIA agent Ooh. with a kind of I'm a dark intrigued. Side. Yeah. yeah, from kind of a dark side. So it's a stretch from what I who I am. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, really sorry, am. I had to cough there for yeah. a second. Yeah. But um <laughs> it, it was a fun role. Um, basically he is well, y'all will see the movie. You know, don't let me. So you gotta, it. you gotta see the movie now. Yeah, you gotta see. It. Tell me about your character. My character, I'm, in a cor uh, a corrupt officer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I have a a nice fight scene. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how that panned out. Uh, I'm I'm just gr grateful to be a part of the project, really. So are you saying you're a stunt man too? Yeah, I'm a stunt man. I act, whatever you need, I got. You. <laughs>
Whatever you need. Uh, all, all coverage, right? Everything you need. We got it here. We got two great actors. And uh, I think we're running short on time because we got to go watch gotta the film. And watch so, it. and we're especially careful. these two stars got to see the film because they've never seen it before. So, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And congratulations on the film. Thank you. All right. And we're out. <laughs>